Hi guys! We're filming our first video in our brand new kitchen and we're so excited. It's a long time coming because we've been trying to film all week. We're gonna film our spaghetti squash with meat sauce recipe and I'm just looking through my notes right now. I kind of just write down the steps that I need um, in terms of footage wise, not really the recipe I have that memorized. But the reason we've been trying to film this entire week was because we bought the ingredients for this video like literally last week. I'm surprised that they're still fresh, but the, it, there's some sort of like emergency plumbing situation going on in our building. As soon as we moved in, there was water problems, so we totally brought the bad news. So like at nine o'clock in the morning, people will come knocking at our door and say, oh my gosh, you guys have to evacuate for seven hours because we're gonna turn off all the water, you can't flush the toilets, can't do anything, and we're gonna be drilling downstairs. So that's what they've been doing this week. They've just been tearing up the entire floor in the downstairs unit and just drilling everything. So we had to evacuate, we couldn't film, couldn't do anything. So we're kind of eager, eager beavers to get going. So I hope you like our setup. It's totally new, cause this is not our norm and we really don't know how to work things in this new kitchen, in this environment right now. So uh, we got our lights, we have our tripods and things going around. This is Joe filming right now, just using our vlog camera. Hello. <laughs> so, we hope that it turns out good and we'll kind of bring you along the process. When I was testing the recipe, I cut the squash open myself, but I wanted to conserve my energy so I made Joe do it. Hee <laughs> hee. Tricks of the trade. They're kind of hard to cut, but you can do it. I just feel like being lazy and conserving my energy. And you know what's kind of sad? On days that we film, we're always, always fighting against daylight. It's a constant struggle. So we just skip food. Isn't that really ironic? So this is what our lunch is. Joe's eating one right now too. So Joe cut one squash for me and I'm gonna cut the other one in front of the camera. Teamwork. We had to stop before we could even start. We're just trying to figure out the lighting because it's okay, there's obviously a lot of windows and we have these lights and everything, but I'm still coming out a little bit weird, <laughs> I guess. We made it to our first scene, woo! -hoo! It feels like so weird getting back on the horse after a really long time with not filming. But anyways, um, if you didn't uh, catch our kitchen tour, where we kind of show you the kitchen and talk about things, then remember to watch that and we'll leave the link down below. I just saved some of the seeds from the spaghetti squash because you can actually toast them up and eat them like a snack. And this is what's happening now. We had to change scenes. And look at this. What's going on here? Having a little problem with the lights hitting our ceiling fan. You know. Just a normal day at the office. So sometimes this happens where we shoot a scene and I'm like cooking something so it's too late and then Joe's like, cut, something was wrong with that shot. So now we gotta fake it till we make it. So are we ready now? Jeez, that's a long pause. <laughs> Still getting it set up. We're almost at the home stretch already. This went by a lot faster and easier than I thought it would be. But I think I chose an easier recipe on purpose because it does take a while to work out the kinks when you shoot anywhere for the first time. These are the rare moments when we have some downtime. Gotta stay hydrated. Sometimes I feel really bad for Joe because he had to put in all the effort to set up the cameras and the lighting perfectly and then for the next shot he has to move it all back to where it was. That's why sometimes we shoot out a sequence because it's just easier that way and we put it together in editing. We're just waiting for these little babies to cool. Man, sometimes things are not easy. We are about to finish everything and shoot the pictures when Joe and I decided that our basil wasn't fresh enough for the pictures. I know. So we were making a crucial decision. Should we just go for it even though it's all wilted and whatever? Remember I told you we had to buy our ingredients like a long time ago? That was the only thing that suffered. So Joe stopped everything. We're about to take the bite and the taste and then he ran to the store to get basil. 
So I hope you guys appreciate the fresh basil on this picture and in this video. Now we're doing the slow roll film, like the close-ups that you see at the beginning of our videos. And we're also going to do the photography for the blog. We're so hungry though, we just want to eat. Look at him in action. Setting up the shot. Cameraman finally gets a taste after being tortured. Isn't it so good? I'm not even lying. So, so good. <laughs> that kind of sounds fake. <laughs> so good. Mmm. All right. Check out our video for the recipe. We're finally done shooting everything, including the pictures. It was kind of a long but productive day, and we hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. So if you want to watch other behind the scenes, you want us to make more of these kinds of videos, then let us know by pushing like and leaving a comment down below. Remember to check out our actual video of this recipe, Spaghetti Squash with Easy Meat Sauce, on our other channel, Chef Julie Yoon Videos. The show is called Bits and Pieces. And you can print out the actual recipe on our website, chefjulian.com. Thanks for spending the time with us today, and we'll see you next time. Bye!